Who should pay on the date? Hi, I'm Cindy V. King. I'm a creator of Calling In My King. I help transform women, creating lasting love through Vedic astrology and neuroscience and transactional analysis so she becomes the queen of love. So let's be clear here. I'm cool with the whole idea of gender equality and everybody wants equal this and equal responsibility and women has the right to do this now and men has the right to stay home, whatever that might be in the case of the battle. But I want to get your attention right now, especially if you are using a man as meal tickets. Uh, the whole point of you, the reason you're single and you want to become a virtue woman, you got to be honest within your relationship. And if you're already doing that, playing games to men, let me tell you, honey, it's not a good start um, in order to create lasting love. So let's pull back and become a virtue woman so that you can become desirable and a high value individual as a person and as a society as well. I want to end this battle when we talk about like who gets to, who's paying first on the date or who's paying second or whatever that might be. I want to end that battle. But before that, I really want to share you about a story that I have experienced within myself about choosing a place that both party can equally pay. If you're gonna do a lobster dinner, just make sure that you can pay the lobster dinner as well. So I wanna let you know that I went on a date with a neurosurgeon and he has a busy day all day. Obviously he was during his work hours, by the way. And I kind of realized that when I'm gonna be meeting him because he was close to my area and I was like, you know what, that's totally cool. And he has a chef and he's like, it's probably going to be one of the slowest hospitals. And I was like, all right, whatever that might be. And I already know what it's like being in a hospital setting, especially if you have, you're still carrying a pager in that sort of atmosphere. And yes, I can totally see that. Um, his pager is going to be going off throughout the whole day and I kind of realized that but then I was like, you know what? I I'm only here for X amount of period of time and then I'm gonna be flying out or I'm gonna be taking off Anyway, so he decided to like, you know what? I really want to take you out for dinner I'm really excited to meet you. I'm like, okay, that's totally cool Anyway throughout the whole day. He was totally busy um, and he was like had so many emergency surgery that needs to be done and like a follow up with um, you know patients and he was in the ER and anyway it was just a little bit extreme on on that uh, state of it so I so by the time like it was like around 10 o'clock rolls in and um, so I finally arrived to the hospital <laughs> not as an inpatient but <laughs> as a date and I was like, I'm going on a date and like, you know, I'm here, you know, go on a date with a doctor. <laughs> and that's what I said. And he finally like was running around all day and then he's not really done his work. And by the time I arrived to um, the hospital, so he kind of like brought me into his office, sat me down the whole time. And like, I guess look around, like I look at books about neurosurgeons. And I was like, okay, and this is what I'm gonna be doing while he's trying to finish off by like 10 minutes in. And he's like, okay, I'm, I'm ready to like go for, for food, right? So and he asked me like what I wanted and then like, the, you know, what's around here. I wasn't even familiar with the area. I just kind of Uber my way to the hospital and like really was sat down at his office. <clears throat> that being said, I, he finally picked a place. It was between like in and out or sushi and I was like on a diet. And if you already not have followed me on Instagram and if you're on a diet like myself, guess what I do most of the time is like, I stare at in and out all day long. Any like places, I will take pictures of in and out because it's just, I love in and out anyways. And donuts, so if you're on a diet like myself, trying to lose weight, trying to get healthy, get your body back into shape so that you can feel sexy 
all the time with clothes or without clothes, hey, follow me on Instagram. If you have a craving, you're like, free will, want to show. That's how I use my free will, just take pictures of in and out or donuts all day long. <laughs> Decided to go for sushi, it's already like 10 at night by the way. And obviously I pick out the food that I wanted, his patron's going off, obviously I'm being interrupted every time I, you know, we're trying to get to know each other. This is the first time I'm meeting him, obviously we've been texting like for a couple days. We finally got the bill. Okay, so the bill, the sushi bill, and obviously we didn't go to like a really high end and then the sushi was like, okay, but if you're like from Vancouver or anywhere like in Tokyo, sushi is a little bit better there. But anyway, this was like an average, I felt like it was an average sushi place. It wasn't great, it wasn't like fabulous, I don't know. I didn't even read the review. Anyway, he picked the place because he had to be around the hospital because he might have to jump back immediately within like the 45. He took the bill and he pulled out his wallet, his wallet, like his wallet like that had like, you know, where you can store cards on it. Anyway, it was gone. It was gone. His card was gone and it was no longer there and he was really flustered i was like hey what's wrong like you know what's what's up right and he's like i think i need to borrow money from you i'm like excuse me like borrow money like me borrow money like how much are we <laughs> looking for what's going on he's like uh i think i lost my credit card and, and my the rest of my wallet and i was like oh okay that's no problem i'm gonna get the bill Anyway, the bill wasn't like a lot or anything. It was like maybe 30 bucks. And I obviously, I said, you know what? I can get the bill this time. You can take me out the next time and pay for that and all that stuff. Obviously, he felt really guilty, really remorse, and really embarrassed. And he's like trying to tell me like, hey, I will like pay you back. What's your PayPal account? What's your Apple Pay account? Like I can send you money. You can just accept it that way. Um, do you have this account? Like I can just transfer money in that way. I was like, honey, like just just hold up. Like that's cool. I just came out to see you, and you know we hung out and stuff, and you know and, and just get to know each other. It's not a big deal. Like don't don't sweat it. I'll I'll take care of it. And I did take care of it. So long and behold, um, he realized that he lost his keys and stuff like that, and he felt still really bad about the bills, and he's like trying to figure out like how he's gonna pay me. So he took me back to his office and like like start ransacking in his bag. By the way, he's probably have a, like a 26 hour shift. And he has this $20 and he's like trying to give it to me. I was like, no honey, like honestly, just get it the next time. He's like, let me pay you your Uber back to your place. And then I was like, honey, you don't even know where I live. Like just relax, just just figure out like how you're gonna get back into your place. You also lost your wallet and your keys. So you need to figure out how to, you're gonna take care of yourself once I like leave this hospital. And so well, the story is no matter what happens on the date and I obviously wanna back up my statement, who should pay on the first date. The person who's asking for the date is the one who pays. And I want to back this statement up by introducing you to this book. If you don't know what it is, can you see it? Here you go. So obviously they, had, they came out with new edition, but this is what I have right now. And oh, there, there it is. Okay. And obviously I was equally as curious. This is written uh, mostly by women and this is for women so and I love this book as a guideline for like things like invitation what to do in certain situations and obviously this backs up my statement clearly so I'm gonna leave the little screenshot what it clearly stated about who pays on the dilemma on the first date or who whatever date that might be it could be date number 20 so Technically, like I said, whoever's asking to go out on the date is the one who pays. In this scenario, the surgeon asked me to go on a date with him, but there was some sort of misfortune that was happening in our uh, date, and guess what? 
I had to pay for it. And so you kind of have to be prepared, even though the rule says hard in stone, it says whoever asks is the one that's pay. However, if you guys had like one of those spontaneous, it was like, I want to grab a coffee uh, right now or go out for food right now, and it wasn't even planned, it wasn't planned, there wasn't a set date and time and schedule, then it would be an equal split. But I'm just saying, especially as a woman and who wants to be in power and want to stand up for her well-being, it's important that you can also equally as pay um, the bills as well. So, and like I said, and if you guys agree to go on a date and then, so that means that you guys agree, that means together, that means the bill should be split 50-50. And so, anyways, uh, long story short, the guy obviously was so embarrassed. Obviously, he has a long shift, a long day. I already knew that when I was going in on a date with him. And he, I called my Uber, obviously, it's, and I he said, you know what, like, I'll see you next time when I fly back in. And he obviously threw $20 at me and ran off. So that kind of paid his portions of the meal because <laughs> he, he felt really guilty and always ashamed. And I try to say, you know what, no problem. Like, I'm going to be back and you can take me out next time. Like, I'll be being said, I just want to make it clear to you that sometime when there is some sort of misfortune that happens on the date and you can actually find out if there is some sort of misfortune in the relationship. So that means there is some sort of disturbance that preventing from things going smooth on the date and this can happen with anybody like any anybody um, that you come into contact with and it just means there's a lot of interruption there's it's, there's no ease to it and I believe this was the sign for it so if you're a woman who's really in tune with her environment and really can grasp things a little bit great you can get in tune to the relationship and you can figure out yeah maybe there's something going on and that where it's preventing us from being together that's what it is preventing from being together so it's easily getting to the point where one of each other is going to be pointing fingers whose fault it, it could be next time but like I said, I actually have a written report uh, that obviously in the astrology, a, a Vedic astrology report that can tell you exactly if you're compatible or not. So, and yes, there's a section called Misfortune and you can read about uh, that section and if you know his birth time and date and you know your own birth time and date and location as well, you can plug it in and you get a report and like I said, the report is really affordable. Instead of spending, I don't know, on that day, I literally spent about 50 bucks and this report was under that amount. So I could have easily could have done the calculation and just save the time and bandwidth. But I didn't really care. I really wanted to learn about neurosurgeon on that day and see what their day-to-day -day life was like. And it was a great experience for myself to see if this type of guy was really going to be fit to my lifestyle as well so he's always constantly is busy are you going to be okay with that he's always going to be needing attention he's not going to be sitting at his desk at like nine to five and he doesn't have a, a, a working hour like and it could be up to 26 hours right and i wanted this experience because i was able to see his day-to-day -day life um, part of it this is a small section and it was crazy and hectic and obviously i catch him on the day that is the most busiest so which is the highest stress peak and how he can react to certain things so i obviously enjoy that very much i fed a surgeon on that day so whoever he was doing surgery on and was saving on that day you know i guess i should be patting myself in the back really for making that effort for feeding a surgeon on that day because he hasn't eaten all day so that being said I want to make sure that you need to be prepared yourself if things go down the tube and there's some sort of environmental factor, external factors that's happening on the day, you're going to use your mask to problem solve and that means taking care of yourself as well. Okay, so the, just remember, 
If you're watching my video, thank you so much. And don't forget to hit subscribe and like my video. And obviously share because sharing is caring. And just know that you are enough as a woman. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.